they're upside down? Oh no, they're not upside down. Hi. Hello. We're in Portland, Maine. And I am delicate, <laughs> to say the least. So I don't know if I'll be talking a lot in this vlog because I sound like a child, at least. Yeah, so I'm just gonna show my experience. Otherwise, if I talk, you'll just hear me sneezing a lot. Oof, I need to put this hood on. This is the honey lavender one. It's very good. The frosting is sweet. Ooh, what is that one? Maple. I got the vegan pomegranate one. That tastes really good. It also tastes like there's like lemon in it. I'm going to go in here. Now we're going to the next destination, which don't know where that is. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to our next destination. I think we can cut across here and okay. go into those little courtyard areas. Oh, this is cute. The lady was so nice at that small shop. She gave us recommendations to go to the Eastern Promenade. Oh, I thought you were talking to me. I was like, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Are you recapping? <laughs> <laughs> what the? Oh, so weird. oh my god! I was like, what are you saying? I know. <coughs> when you first were like, that lady was so nice, I was watching, like, yeah, she was, and then you continued on, and I was like, what? I was right there. Oh my gosh, that was so funny. Um, we started talking about goats. <laughs> And she told us like a few different types of goats, like the ones that you can milk. Because I was like, I'm for the goats, because she had like a goat soap. And then there's like the screaming goats, which she was like, I don't understand why people own those. And there's another goat, which is like a breed between a goat and a donkey or something like that. But that was so funny. <laughs> You're like, why are you repeating yourself? Why are you telling me this that we just experienced? 
You're like, right, I was there see. too. It's Sunday, I think. So, what time is it? Is it, it lunchtime? It's 11.41. Okay. Are you hungry? A little. <laughs> okay, let me turn on my cellular. So I can view. Okay, so, let's see. Do you want to... Well, let me see how far... I wonder if we could... Oh, that lady... It's one mile rec- away only. That lady recommended... Do you want to go to that recommended place or go to the ones that were on our list? I think that one is on our list. Oh, the, um, the high roller one. Yeah. It's. Let's look them up really quick. Okay, it's only. Let's see how long of a walk it is. I think we're gonna try to get lunch now. I think we're gonna do lobster roll for lunch. Yeah. All right. We'll see you for lunch. <laughs> this is unreal. Cheers. Oh, hold on. Let me get this lemon seed out. Okay. Cheers. Oh, you can grab it like that. Take your tray. Thanks. Deagle almost came up to us while we were eating outside. It was terrifying. Melanie and I both freaked out. <laughs> It was quite funny, actually. (laughs) You are all happy with me. Thank you. This is so cute. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Melanie just describes some tulips dog? as a gargantuan. <laughs> You're a good dog. Oh my gosh, this dog is Ooh, so cute. Now. Go yes. Okay. Oh, yeah, there's so many tulips here. Oh, this is a coffee shop. Cafe winter hours. Hi, puppy. You look so cute in there. Oh, it just says coffee. Walk through street. It's just the end of the peninsula.
Basically gonna be doing a lighthouse tour while I'm out here. This lighthouse is so cute. The Buck Light. Portland Breakwater Lighthouse. Buck Light was erected in 1875 at the end of the at the end of a 19 1,990 foot long breakwater, which protected Portland's inner harbor from ocean storms. The area around breakwater has since been filled in and is now Buck Light Park. Really like it. Also, I feel like I'm getting better and better. I don't sound like as congested. I still sound like a child, but whatever. I don't feel as congested as I sniff. <laughs> Okay, now it's started. <laughs> so cute. I made it. Come here. Ooh, the sun's coming out. Oh, that's so nice. Building. I think we're doing the lighthouse tour today, which is nice. We'll probably see more of the rest of this trip, but hey, it's only day one, you know? It is so nice over here. I love being by the sea. Oh, and the blue sky it just looks so beautiful. I feel like it's healing me. So pretty. Wobbly, I was like, nah, I'm not doing it. I don't need that type of risk. Yeah, no, the hazardous footing was not for us. I'm not a I'm not meant for that. <laughs> the Lord's foundation. <laughs> Amen. The Lord's foundation is secure. Yeah, I was like, I'm not even a quarter of the way there. And I was like, this is not worth it. I had to think too much. Yeah. And like, you have to like gauge your footing. Oh my God. <laughs> I literally can't. It was really long. Oh. But look at this like Scandinavian design. Yeah, it's really cute. It's like Iceland, just right in the I want to go back to Iceland so oh my gosh, bad. I think she's doing pottery in there. Unstable area? Why are these caution signs here? I mean, it's good for us, but like, damn. <laughs> Yellow flowers. Sorry, no public restrooms. Gotta get my camera. <laughs> I was telling Melanie, I don't know how you would get a car out here, but. Oh, wow. It's so pretty.
I did not know that. Okay, George Washington. <laughs> oh, that's a cute little. That's so cute. I think we're gonna head to our last lighthouse for the day. And then we're gonna go to, I believe a museum and like an art uh, gallery type walk right after. So it should be a lot of fun. I'm so glad that we're doing this like lighthouse tour. I tried going to this lighthouse, but there's no public access. There's literally signs everywhere that say no public access. And then there is I a mean, state I think park. that just means you can't get inside of the lighthouse. But I'm kind of like nervous with that sign because there's people there and they're not getting told off, but I don't know if they live in that house. And there's lots of different cars there, so I don't know. It's kind of bizarre. So I might just go to the museum slash art walk that's happening and then grab dinner back in Old Port, right? It's in Old Port. Mm -hmm. Okay, we might do that. Loves to go in This elevator is huge. Also, it's free, this art museum, from 4 to 8 p.m., especially on Fridays. An eventful day. We've done a lot today. Yeah. <laughs> You're tired, huh? Yeah. Follow me. The dogs are barking. The dogs are barking. <laughs> We're gonna head down to the seashore, see the sunset, and then call it Uber. On the sea from the land. <laughs> On the sea from the land. She's talking about how like she likes to see the sea from the land, <laughs> as well as the snow from indoors. And honestly, same. Oh, oh that is so cute. You can kind of see it over there.
<laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I guess that is a restaurant. It's nice. All right, that is day one, done and dusted. Um, I feel and I sound a lot better, which is really nice. I bought this, what's you call it? Uh, Reboost Breathe Easy Nail. Clearly I'm not fully better because my, my brain is still foggy, but nasal. Um, decongester and it's been working really well for me I've just had like a cold essentially um, I know where I got sick I was holding my friend's baby and they had uh, their son had a cold and I caught that um, I got a fever and then got the body aches well no I got a sore throat first and then I got the fever with body aches and then the cough stuff happened and then on the plane had the worst earache haven't had an earache like that in years um and then my ears haven't popped fully i can hear a lot out of this one i would say 90 percent this one is still like 70 75 it still has some popping to do which is fine um but i can generally hear well it's just in on this side i feel like i can hear internally more than i can on this one um but each time i like sneeze or like have to blow my nose kind of hard it pops which is nice i'm gonna go to bed we have an exciting day tomorrow um i'm excited to show y'all what today tomorrow looks like but thanks for joining today and I hope you all had a great time spending it with me and well with Melanie and I. Uh, I had a really great time. I'm glad that I was able to do all the things that we wanted to do, which is nice. Um, and eat like a lobster roll, which is great, even though a seagull almost attacked us. <coughs> that was, uh, that was hilarious. Oh my gosh. And then I made this like comment. It might not be funny, but like tomatoes are not vegetables and potatoes are not vegetables. And so I told Melanie, um, cause the donuts that we we're eating were made out of potatoes. I was like, well, I guess anything with a toe is not a vegetable. <laughs> we both died laughing. You had to have been there. It was really funny. Anyways, um, if you have any, like, non-vegetable jokes, leave them in the comments below. Anyways, uh, hope you have a great day or night wherever you are. Hope you stay kind, stay true, and stay laughing, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!